guys, what's going on? Derek Sims here, and we are here for our first day on the job. That is right, we have finally made it to our very first job as an interior decorator. Right now we are checking out this beautiful family and getting their lovely input. Some could be helpful, some could be not, but it said we were to do a room. I don't know what room. They didn't specify. I'm kind of not impressed by that. Like, it's cool that we can do a room, but I wish it said a specific room, like the living room or a bedroom or a kitchen, you know what I mean? So right now, I'm gathering in the foe and feedback from all the family members here. Five, if I'm counting correctly, four or five. Um, they don't like the color gray. They want a pipe organ. Which, honestly, that's an antique, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, and they love to have some healthy stuff, like yoga and whatnot. <sighs> okay. So, now that I got my feedback, it's time to take the before. Which, honestly, I kind of, looking back at this, I regret not taking more photos of the whole floor plan that I did because I just took general pictures of the entryway in the living room and that was just not it. <laughs> As you will see later on in the video, I kind of went above and beyond and did way more than that, you know? Like, ooh, great. That's just peachy keen. So... Let's get to work. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. I just know that we can't have gray, they want a pipe organ, and they like to stay healthy. So first things first, I wanna complete what's on their checklist and get them a pipe organ. I think we'll put it in the entry. I thought about putting it here in the living room, but later on I'm like, how is that gonna fit? As you can see, I'm trying to incorporate the new pack stuff with the new design. And, you know, it, it kind of works, but at the same time, eh. I mean, so many options, so many choices. This house is looking drab and dreary. It needs a lot of work done. And I mean a lot of work. So, enough commentary for a little bit. We're just gonna watch the design process happen and I will chime back in when I'm ready to give more feedback. Real quickly though, I just wanna add how we can do the sofas and sectionals now is brilliant. As you can see, I'm trying to incorporate some color into this space. I know they didn't want gray, but they seem to like the appeal of black and slim, thick, sleek. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, forgive me if not, but uh, <laughs> they want it to look kind of dark and medieval, you know, without gray which I don't know how in the world you're gonna pull that off. So, I made everything into a corner, made it black, and you know, kind of blend in. And then you just see me throwing a couple plants, and then over in the other corner, a yoga stool, out of all things. Now, in the entryway, I kind of thought about doing accent walls, but I wanted to make it throughout this nice blue inviting color. 
The sad thing is, you can't change the flooring, if I remember right. Either you can't change the flooring or you can't build or tear down walls. One of the two. I believe it was the can't get rid of flooring, which kind of sucked in the end, but it is what it is. I mean, there's only so much you can do, right? that I'm trying to keep the space peaceful and tranquil as possible. You can see I almost used the new pack sink. Heck no. I still forever hate that sink. So instead I went with something sleek and modern and instead I used the new pack's lamps. I'm still kind of, you know, iffy about it, but I might grow to like them later on. Giant blue lights like that on the wall just to give us some accent color pop to blend in with the color of the wall which is blue and now you can see i'm trying to fiddle with the couch and sectional <laughs> i'm still trying to get the hang of it i'm still trying to get the hang of it as you can see i'm just giving up <laughs> it's okay i'll have to fix the outside wallpaper later um i'm just fiddling, fiddling and farting fiddling uh fiddling around and farting around and just, you know, playing with this, you know. I want this to be perfect for the clients. It is, it is my first job. And there you go. And I just want it to be perfect. Now, could I stop here in this entry bathroom, living room? Yes, I could. But they didn't specify what room. So I'm just going to go ahead and do every room. This kitchen screamed at me. And I mean screamed like help, help, I need help. I think later on in the, like in the future pox, future pox, oh my God. In the future, when I'm doing interior jobs like this, I won't be using those lights unless I really feel like it'll be necessary to have them in the space appropriately, not like what I've been using here, I'd probably use something else because I'm still not keen on the lights. They look okay, but I personally would not want to use them anywhere else really. I think giving an accent wall in the kitchen, that wooden wall, I think is a great idea. Most kitchens should have one, and I know some bedrooms do. I might incorporate that into some bedrooms later if I decide to do the bedrooms, which I probably might. But <laughs> I want to do an accent wall because I want to put like my countertops there and some appliances there, maybe put an island. I'm still trying to figure out how that would work. Like, would it be functional if I put an island there? I want there to be an open kitchen concept, you know? I want it to be nice and open, but I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just trying to figure everything out. thing about trying to figure out how to do this kitchen is being able to use the new cabinetry and countertops that came with this pack. I really do like the cabinets and countertops very much. I think it's something we've been wanting in The Sims for quite some time. We've been needing it for quite some time and we finally got it. 
you know, I'm still trying to figure out how to do countertops like that. Like, you get a bookshelf and then it goes, boom, into a counter. And even just to put some cabinets over the fridge and stuff, like, I'm still trying to figure all that out. But overall, it's a good process to start. And I'm kind of liking how this has turned out so far. this kitchen right now is how everything has been turning out same with the living room I love how everything's just coming together now as you can see I've changed the colors of the cabinetry and some appliances I want it to work I want it to mesh together I want it to look perfect and especially with that accent wood wall I think it is 100% perfect I would not touch a thing if that was in a real-life kitchen the only thing I'd probably change is the fridge and get stainless steel, but that's just me. You know, the fridge with the TV in it or the fridge where you can like touch the screen, which I guess is a TV, but like you tap the screen and you can see in the fridge without even opening the fridge. That's the kind of fridge I'd replace with that fridge I have in the kitchen now here in the game, but you can't have everything you want. So you live and learn, say la vie, you just work with it, you got it. Now, I don't know what the heck I'm thinking with this. I'm thinking therapy. I'm thinking let's have some tranquil space. But in the end, I'm just trying to think of some place where we can read a book. See, like I'm trying to figure out how to make this work, but also realizing <laughs> that there's a back door there, like there's steps. So I need to redo what I'm thinking. Make it small, make it brief, make it work. It's not that easy, but I think with this, it worked just fine. I mean, look at this. Look at this. That's a big plant. What am I thinking? I always go for the big plants. I don't know why. But look at that. That little area for reading is perfect. The kitchen area, perfect. The living room, perfect. Now, do I want to work on the beds? Absolutely. Are we going to do it? Absolutely. Am I gonna regret it? Probably not. I hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> oh goodness. My goal is to make the space warm and inviting and comfortable. That new plant, by the way, that new accent plant that I just put down, best plant of all time. All time favorite. You will never not see me use that plant ever again for decoration or anything. <laughs> it's beautiful. What's not beautiful in this room? Those fugly yellow pastel colors. They are so freaking ugly. It just makes the room nauseating to me. Like, I can't explain that. It just makes me feel nauseated being in there. Do I want to change the color? Absolutely. Am I going to regret what I choose for the color? Possibly. I'm trying to make everything work with that yellow color. And I don't know why. The 
first thing I should have done before putting furniture in this room was to obviously give it a new paint color. But did I do that? No. Do I change the paint color in the end? I don't remember. We'll find out as the video goes along. That's the fun thing about doing a voiceover, ladies and gentlemen. If you do recording and then you do a voiceover later on after you record, you forget exactly what you recorded, like me, in this video. I forget exactly what all I did. Then, you know, you find out for the ride. So, yes, we do change the paint color. Yes, it's better than that fugly yellow. And yes, I'm giving an accent wall. Yes, it is the same as the kitchen, but it works almost in every room. Like I said, every room nowadays almost has an accent wall of some sorts. It could be wood, it could be paneling, it could be stone, it could be brick, it could be something in your kitchen or a bedroom or a bathroom. You know, like every house is different, every family is different, and every family has their own style. Every house has its own style. You know, like, you just can't put normal, normal activity in a box. You know, you got to think outside the box, get creative, and that's exactly what I did with putting an accent wall in that bedroom. Will I apply that to other bedrooms in the house? I hope to. I really do. And it'd be behind the bed because that's what I want someday in my own house. I want a nice accent wall behind my bed and then the rest of the room just be normal. Think outside the box. Let your imagination flow. That's what this game is all about. And that's also what this new pack is about. I really recommend, if you have not gotten this pack, you really should. Because in the process of editing this video, I've been wanting to maybe do a series of it. Like, just for fun series. And give it a fun name. I don't know what I'd call it though. I think somebody already has love it or list it or something. But what if I did love it or loathe it? You can either love the design or loathe it. Like, ooh, I love it. Thanks for the renovation. Or, oh, I hate this. You suck. No, 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 no. Okay, I'll be honest, doing that deep voice really hurts, so... Ouch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm gonna let my voice rest for a bit. You can see the transformation that I'm giving in each bedroom, and... I will hop back on in a little while to give more thought.
Let me tell you something. When I saw that this household had a spare little room on the top floor, besides a master bedroom, I knew I had to make it something. Did I think about making it a laundry room? I could have. Did I? No. I made it a fitness room. One of the requirements was they love fitness, they love staying fit, being healthy, yada yada, all that jazz. But was giving them a yoga mat on the first floor really enough for this family? Absolutely not. So outside the hallway, out to the master bedroom on the second floor, I gave them a gym. And for some reason, I felt like adding a massage table. I don't know why, but I thought it'd be nice. Does it work? Possibly. Have I tried this? No. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's so much when it comes to planning in your head how you want the space to look in the end and if it'll work. Like, I'm second guessing and I don't know if I did this or not. All the windows that are on the second floor, I don't know if I changed them out like I did on some of the first floor windows. I hope I do. I don't remember if I do. And that's the beauty of doing a voiceover almost a week after recording, cause... <laughs> anyway. Back to the decorating. Is it normal to have a dresser in a room when you already have a walk-in closet? Is that normal to have? Because I feel like when I do that, you get a dresser like I put in front of the TV and then you have that giant walk-in closet. Is that normal? Is that okay to do? Like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if it's normal or not. If it is, cool. If it's not, which one should I do and why? I really don't know. Just like how I don't know why I didn't give an accent wall for the bedroom yet. I don't know if I do or not. I hope I did. But I'm really digging that blue vibe. I may just leave it alone, to be honest.
Some final thoughts. Changing the windows was absolutely, absolutely the best decision I could have done for this reno. Um, putting curtains on some of the windows, uh, that can be debatable. I <laughs> kind of regret doing some curtains in some places, but doing them on the first floor was a must. Putting a window in the bathroom on the main floor off the kitchen? Eh, I kind of regret. Could I have made that a living room? Absolutely. But I decided to keep it as a bathroom just because. But I didn't want anything crazy, you know? I don't want it to be a bathroom where you can actually take a shower or take a bath. Just the guest bathroom, you know, off the kitchen, something quick. I really feel like I could have made that a laundry room though, because this house does not have it. See, doing the curtains, not easy. Some look ugly, but sometimes they work. But at the same time, I'm just not feeling the curtain. Does anybody else feel that way ever? Like, you feel like a certain uh, window or a room needs some curtains, but in the end they just look wrong. And then you go against that idea? Like, what the heck? I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there's a basement. And it's a dungeon. Um, I think we're gonna leave it as is. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the point of the video where we are finally done doing the renovations. We're gonna take some decent pictures, odds and ends, that showcase our best assets and, you know, the space that we have envisioned and changed and created. And hopefully in the end, they will see to justice that it was done right. I hope to God I said all that right and normal, cause I am tired. I have not gone to bed yet. And yeah. Let's show the owners this home right after we pick our pictures. As for that idea, I was mentioning maybe I will make a series out of this. Love it or loathe it? I don't know. Stay tuned on that one, ladies and gentlemen. If I do end up making a series out of it, I hope you guys watch it. It wouldn't be a constant series because, you know, when with the summer coming up and everything I got going on, it probably won't be a constant thing, but it'd be fun as heck. I love how they go inside with their eyes closed and then they go out the back door. They literally walk through the house from the front, through the kitchen and entry, to the back door to open their eyes outside once again. That doesn't make sense. Can anybody explain that to me? Now, I feel like showing off some of the needs and the wants they have been wanting it's a good way for them to give you a good rating. It looks like that my rating is average, like on the lower spectrum of the scale, but I'm hoping that at the end of this, it will be positive. Just like the rest of the world. I don't know. I just know I gotta talk to all the people in this house, which looks like there's four people. 
I was close earlier. I said four or five. I wasn't 100%. But knowing it's five, I feel good about it. Okay, looks like some people are ready. Okay, that was average. Looks like she loved it. And my professional went up. Hooray. I got promoted. That's awesome. I think I did a bang up job with this. I really do. It's beautiful. I checked off. Why am I swimming in their pool? Holy cow. Get the heck out of there, man. Go home. Um... <laughs> I think I did a really good job for the first time. I'm hopeful in the future to do good jobs like this. And maybe someday in the future, I'll give my apartment another renovation. So thank you guys for watching. This is Derek Sims signing off. Have a great weekend, ladies and gentlemen.